Hello and welcome to this Cubasis video. I thought let's make a little musical loop today and I'm going to show you some of the new features in Cubasis 1.9.8 along the way. So this is what we're going to be making. Now let's get started. I've already created an instrument track and loaded one instrument in the Microsonic. It's called Live Grand. And this is part of 28 new instruments that you have available now in Cubasis. This is what it sounds like. And we're gonna be using it to create our loop. Let's check out the new Dirty Rock Organ. If you scroll further down the list, you will see that the new instruments also say new in the preset name so that they are easier to find. We also have a new set of strings, for example, pizzicato. I'm going to load the live grand again. Then I will bring up the keys by tapping on the keys button. And I will also enable the metronome and let's record. Good, now we have a basic chord structure in our project. I don't know about you, but I think we need some bass for this track. So let me close all that. I'm going to add another instrument track and load the double bass, which is also new. And I'm going to open up the keys again and make sure that the metronome is still turned on. And then let's play some bass. You might have noticed already that I also put some effects on the piano track and also on the bass track, actually. So let me show you what I did. If you tap on insert effects, you can see all the effects that I'm using. I'm using the studio EQ to lower the higher frequencies. And I'm also using the talk box, which is part of the effects pack one. You know at least one band that's using a talk box, I'm pretty sure. And um, I'm also using the compressor and I'm using the long delay, uh, which is also part of the effects pack. If we have a look at the send effects, you can see that I also added a reverb and a stereo delay to the piano. Now let's have a look at the double bass. I'm using the studio EQ to make the bass sound a little lighter. And I'm also using a compressor. And this is also one of the new features in this Cubasis release. As you can see, we have worked on the user interface. And especially for the compressor, this is really nice because you now have, for example, a gain reduction meter. As you can see, we can now also tell how much gain reduction we're actually applying to the base. Good, let's move forward. I have created a drum track using a drum loop from the media bay. Let me show you, it's in the audio section, it's called 120 Flum Drums 02. I have EQ'd it a little bit already. So as you can see, just increase the mid range a little bit, lower the lower frequencies, and this is what it sounds like. We are not done with the track yet, but I think now it's a good time to mention some of the other new features that you will find in this Cubasis version. If you go to the setup page and select Ranger, you will find an option called Return to Start Position on Stop. If you enable it, it means that, for example, if you start your playback at bar 5, I'm gonna hit play now. 
As soon as you hit stop, Cubasis will automatically return to bar 5. This is nice for rehearsal, for example. Let me show you another option. If you go to MIDI, you will find an option called MIDI over Bluetooth. And that's actually quite cool, because what you can do is, if you, for example, have the Yamaha MDBT01 Bluetooth MIDI adapter, then you can connect your MIDI keyboard to Cubasis via Bluetooth. And another option we have added is that you can now also work with iCloud Drive, which means if you, for example, have all your files in your iCloud Drive, you can now import these into your project. And you can also store your project data in iCloud. Now, of course, you can access this data on your iPad, but you can, of course, also access it on your Mac or PC. So you can easily open up your Cubasis project in your big Cubis version, for example, on your laptop. I think that's actually quite nice. Another feature is that Cubasis now also works with external hard drives that you can purchase separately for your iPad. And some of them are wired, some of them are wireless. But no matter which one you choose, it's very handy to have this external storage available, especially if you're thinking about recording large amounts of audio in Cubasis, especially if you record in 24-bit 96 kilohertz resolution. Now let's get back to the project. And I think I have saved the best for last, which is audio unit support. This means that you can now load other instruments or effects directly into Cubasis. If you select instruments and go to audio units, you will see that I have the Autori ISAM on my iPad and I can now load it into Cubasis. And this is very cool because the user interface also shows up right in Cubasis and you don't have to switch between the applications. This also means that you can record it, of course, in Cubasis. This also means you can, for example, play it directly with the keyboard, which is built into Cubasis. Just bring it up and you're good to go. Just to be clear, the Arturia ISAM is not part of Cubasis. It's a separate audio unit you can purchase. Now let's record it. <laughs> That should be enough for now. Just a few notes on audio units. Of course, it depends on which iPad you have, how much processing power it has, how many audio units you can load into Cubasis. And some of the instruments might use more resources, some effects, some basic effects might not use as many. So you can actually load uh, a lot more of them into Cubasis. And by the way, although I haven't shown it, it's really nice to have all your units available for insert effects as well. Another thing I need to mention is that at the moment, at least there is no option to automate the parameters of the audio unit that you have loaded. Let me show you a little workaround. In case of the ISAM, we can use the modulation matrix to assign the mod wheel to the filter cutoff frequency. And I can, of course, automate the mod wheel of the Cubasis keyboard. That's it for this short introduction into Cubasis 1.9.8. I hope you like it. I wish you all the best and above all, have fun making music. Bye.